Okay, so in this question, a train on a straight horizontal track moves from rest at constant acceleration. So u is given as zero and acceleration is given as constant. The horizontal forces on the train are the engine force and a resistive force which increases with speed. Which graph represents the variation of time t uh, with time t of the power p developed by the engine? Okay, fine. So clearly, I must say that this is a quite difficult question. And uh, this, if we move into the technical part of this question, this question becomes the level three question. Easily, we can say that because the backward force is increasing, because the body at the end of the day, conclusively, it is having an acceleration A. So V is equal to U plus AT and V is equal to AT. We are sure that the velocity of train will keep on increasing, whatever is the power developed by the engine. If the velocity will keep on increasing, the resistive force will keep on increasing also. And that is why the upward force or the forward force that is being provided by the engine, that must constantly increase itself. That must constantly increase itself. So that we know. Now, so power has to increase itself. So we are, by this information, we just know limited things. So we cannot actually judge what is the right answer by this much of the information. So we have to delve deeper into the technical aspect of this uh, question. Be very careful. This is a difficult question. Please be very careful now. Let us say there is this body or this vehicle that is moving and it is being acted upon by a force F in the forward direction due to the engine. And there is a backward force, <clears throat> which is resistive force, which is generally uh, directly proportional to speed. Now they have written it is increasing with the speed, but they have not given the actual variation of the speed. But we know that whatever the resistive force is, it is always variable with the velocity raised to the power one. So I have chosen it to be kV. So it means F net is equal to F minus kV. F net is equal to F minus kV. This F net is equal to M into A. So I can say that it is constant instead of M into A. I will say it is constant. Okay. And we, are, we also know that power P is equal to F into V. So instantaneous power is related with the instantaneous velocity like this. We know that the velocity is a variable and definitely V is equal to AT. We can substitute it here. So we can find the instantaneous power. Power will be a variable. There is no doubt about it. Okay. So we have to talk in the terms of instantaneous. From here, I have substituted the value of F as P by V minus KV is equal to a constant C. So because of the lack of space, I'm not moving diagonally here. So at this point, I don't know where to write. But anyways, I will substitute V is equal to AT minus KAT is equal to C. Multiplying AT on the both side of the equation, we get P is equal to K is this and CAT. So this is what we have found. This is our final equation. When we multiply AT on the both side of the equation, we get this equation. From this, we have got the variation of, of, of power with respect to time. And evidently, it is quadratic equation. Evidently, the power used here will be uh, having a parabolic variation with respect to time. So we have clearly proved that the answer should be D. It will not be anything else. Power will not be constant. We are sure about it. Power will not become constant later. No. And power will not increase continuously in a uh, linear fashion. No. It will be increasing continuously in a parabolic way. And with this, let us verify the answer. And yes, the answer is D. All the best. Bye.